I'm going to continue to mine, and then I'm going to head over there so we can go ahead and get started building that ship. You guys are going to see me mine. You guys are going to see what I have to go through. There's no cheating in this game. Oh no. Oh no. It's just, it's just a grind, man. It's just you. Grinding. There we go. One aspect that you will learn to love about this game, especially later on, is whenever you have a high enough efficiency so that you won't be spending so much time doing this. Especially whenever you have multiple ships. Whenever I was playing this game, I had like seven minor craft that would follow me around. It is a pain to get them to go certain places sometimes. Especially if you have to hightail it out of there because, you know, of enemies. And the cost of those ships causes you to have to constantly be moving some kind of cargo. If you make those ships large. I don't recommend making mining ships large. It doesn't really add anything to them. In fact, it, it makes it more difficult for them to do their job. Whenever they're small, they can fit in between the asteroids. Whenever they're large, they don't know what to do. The AI freaks out, and they get stuck all of the time. And then you have to go to them, fix them, and then, then go back to doing whatever it is you're doing. I don't know if they fixed it so that you can send ships to other areas and then leave them there, and they'll continue to do their job. The last time I played this game, they couldn't. Oh man, Master Biscuit Gaming. This is that riveting gameplay that you guys subscribe to. In fact, you guys should be paying for this right now. This, this is just that good. Get YouTube Red. It's like regular YouTube, except it sounds more pornographic. Even though it's not. Master Biscuit Gaming, moving over to YouTube Red. It's time to get Red in the head. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm getting the space crazies. There we go. I wanted to get 10,000 before I actually started making the ship. But this is just taking too long. So I'm going to go ahead, finish mining this one. And then we'll start on the ship creation. We're going to go ahead and do this real quick too. There we go. My recordings have been acting crazy as of late. So I'm having to actually stop and then restart recording. So if there's a slight jump there, it's because I was doing that. So that I can have at least part of the video, instead of not being able to have any of the video. So this episode is going to stop after we build the first ship. I don't know how long it's going to make this episode. Probably quite. It takes kind of a, a while to get started in this game. I mean, yes, I could have already made the ship. You can start you can start building a small ship at around, I want to say, a thousand iron. It's not like it takes a lot to do. I'm so close to having 5,000. 5, I'm just going to go ahead and find... Uh, where was that? No, oh, there it is. I was going to go ahead and mine this one out. Probably not going to mine the full thing. Just going to mine out enough to get 5,000. And then we will go to build the ship. You see, right now, we lose a lot of material whenever we mine this thing. Because we don't get any until it breaks apart. Later on, you'll actually... Pieces will break apart before the asteroid actually starts to disintegrate. I'm going to break off this piece, and we're going to be out of here. All right, let's go. I lied. We're going to break this off, too, because this is easy to break. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. Where is my ship? 
Where's the shipyard? It's right there. So let's fly over there quickly now. Before any space douchebags decide they're going to show up and ruin our good times. That thing right there is actually one of the portals I was talking about before. That if you were to travel through that, you can go without having the need of a warp drive. But you have to pay to use those. If you have your own warp drive, then you just have to wait a cool down period. You don't have to pay for it. <clears throat> okay, so let's get rid of that. Don't show this to me again. And then you just press T to get into your ship here. Brake thrust is bad. Oh, no, duh. It's almost like it doesn't have any brakes. Get us, out of, get, get us out of here. Thank you. So, now we're in the building mode. And the building mode has all this stuff on the side, all this stuff down here, all this right here, and then, yeah. So what we want to do, whenever you're building your ship, you want to keep in, in mind of the things that you're going to need in order for the ship to function, and you want to keep that on the, the more inside part of the vessel. So you, you need ship court, uh, you need a uh, crew quarters. We're actually gonna put two of those on there. And you need to have a gyro. We're just gonna put that right there. Inertia dampeners. And energy, which I believe you can only get energy in the titanium tier. Luckily, I have titanium. So this is the energy container. Which I am going to foolheartedly put right here in hopes that I remember. I, right now, I'm going into this blind. I don't know what my ship's going to look like when it's done. And an energy generator. That was most of my, most of the titanium I put into that. So these parts are the squishy bits of your ship. They are going to be the weaker points of your ship. So you want to have this armored. Right now I'm using the block shape, but this game gives you quite a variety of shape and the ability to shift and turn and stretch and everything, all of these different shapes to pretty much make whatever you Whatever design you need, all you if you decide to put the time into it. For this ship, since this is going to be basic ship number one, we're going to keep it relatively simple whenever it comes to the actual design of this ship. And right now, the ship kind of... Uh, you see how it kind of moves in this blocky pattern? The further down your grid size is, the more refined you can actually make the moves and the more this thing is down actually the more you can alter it to make it fit pretty much any contour or whatever you want for whatever you're trying to make which is a cool aspect of this game you can also block match if you want something to cover like for these parts i want to have some iron i mean some of this this iron armor which has higher durability over the squishy bits on the inside of my ship. We're not going to do that right now, but if you want to, you can press the block match in the mirror mode. Now the mirror mode will place it on both sides and you can do that. And then it's like a thin layer of armor over these parts. So now we're going to get into the actual building, which I'm going to probably speed through. But you have a whole host of different materials that you can make stuff at. And the higher you go, the more uh, things you can actually make. Right now, we're stuck with the basic stuff, which is where we are now. But later on, we'll be able to get higher and higher tier stuff. Let's not make the same mistake I made last time that you guys didn't see by... One of the things that I noticed that can actually decrease the cost 
is to make the framework first and then to make at least this used to be a thing you can trend you can do different blocks by clicking the transform block option and it usually costs less like the cost of this is cheaper than both the cost of the actual framework and the cost of the engine i don't know if that works now but that used to be something that you could do now i have some titanium left which is what i want to use to create the rest of the engine the other engine that i'm going to make on this thing let's go to titanium Do I have enough? 602. Won't have enough for that. We'll put that here. And then we're going to put a another one down here. But this one's going to be iron. There we go. So I'm aware of how this looks right now, how it looks dumb and possibly kind of phallic, but we're going to be hopefully making it look less so by making it look dumb, but not phallic. Since there's pirates here, I'm going to have to quickly add on some stuff and probably finish the ship later, which is fine with me because I don't want to get shot at right now because those pirates will shoot at me. They do not care that you're in the middle of building at all. All right, let's see what the pirates are. Where are they? Down here. Yeah, right there. Okay, this place seems to have a defense force. Okay, I should be fine. Let's finish building. So one glorious thing about this game that a lot more creation games 
need to take note of is the fact that it has the control Z feature. For a creative game to not have control Z is just the worst. We can take these off. Okay guys, so I'm finally back. This is the ship design that I'm going with for right now. I actually probably need to add in more reverse thrust. What's my braking? 21. Braking thrust. Max velocity. Pretty sure it can go faster than that. Anyways. We're going to put these not on that. And put them like up here that is terrible I hate that all the way 100% can can I move you not even the right thing are you So, pro tip, if you want your cannons to line up, you can do this and see exactly where your other one is. You can do that. Now now they're perfectly in line. I don't think I can put another one of these down. I cannot. Oh yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Anyways, I can't actually take that to be the final speed since... I don't have the crew. Whenever it comes to actually making your ship, the further away your thrusters are from the center of gravity of the ship, the faster it will be able to turn. So now we want to hire the crew, the crew mans. And what I'm going to do for this is hire all I need. There we go. I'm probably going to need one of these, probably. And for everything else, I want these guys. So 
I will tell you what I just did. Whenever we go into this, first we want to make sure auto pay is on. So you want to make sure your crew is paid automatically, or you want to go in here and make sure you pay them. If you don't pay your crew, they are going to stop working for you. They're just going to let your ship fall apart and not going to give a crap, even though it's going to kill them. So this is the actual ship schematics, I guess. Get this out of my face. And this is how many turrets you can have. For this ship, I could only have three. And I chose two of those to be, of course, these slots here for the mining. Because that's very important that you have mining going on. Especially for your first set of ships. Now I have it on auto assign. So... Your crewmans, just these guys, will just fill up positions that are vacant. But if you get, they, they, or your, your crew will level up over time. And these guys level up the slowest. If you get actual engineers, like, they'll, whenever they level up, they will go, uh, they, they'll, they'll count, one unit will count for more than one unit. And right now, they're working at 130%. Anybody who's just a crew man will only work at 100% if the position is filled. Which they all are. So, I'm not going to worry about trying to get the actual crew mans right now. The fact that the ship works is good enough for me. But the ship is slow. At turning. And how fast is it? significantly faster than what we had what about it stopping it takes a while to come to a stop and that's not good so what I'm actually going to do in the next episode is actually fix the problems wrong at the ship but for right now we are going to color this thing and the color I'm going to go for is the favorite colors of the people in Master Biscuit. So I believe that is blue. Get a blue racing stripe going on here. It's all the way down. All the way around too. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. Purple. There is no just this dark violet. Let's go down. Yeah. Same thing on this side. And if my favorite color is in here, no color. Nope, they just have gray. My favorite color is black, guys. But gray is a is a good enough. Gray is not good enough. I want to have to choose my second favorite color. Which can you guess it? You probably could. It's red. There we go. Yep. Yep, that's what this ship's gonna look like. So tune in next time on Master Biscuit in Space. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. Like, subscribe, tell your friends all about it. If you like this game and you want to see more, please be sure to hit that like button. Yada yada yada. No time for all this for all this BS. Let's get out of here.